Hello and welcome back to the colony with Man of the Ants. Once again, I'm playing some more of the fantastic Empires of the Undergrowth. So we don't really need to go through the comments from last time too much because because it was just me doing something and successfully doing it with no necessary next step. It's mainly people just saying congratulations and well done and how the little things they did differently. The only things I, I want to mention are someone said that the next playable species are they, uh, the dev slug disc with apparently hinted are going to possibly be the trapjaw and army ant species, which could be quite interesting. The army ants in particular could be quite fun, I think. And the only other thing is, if you remember the last bit, it was the formicarium challenge. If you stay in your formicarium rather than going outside like the mad scientist wants you to, you start shaking the formicarium and damaging and stunning your ants a bit. The only thing I didn't see was if you leave your formicarium and go back in, apparently he'll then start sending in other insects, like other enemy insects, to uh, force you to leave, which would have been quite interesting, but we missed that a bit. So today, I think I said last time we were going to do the hard mode stuff, but what I forgot about, of course, of course, is in the alpha demo levels, there is a new one called the Crucible. So we're going to try that one first, and then next time we'll carry on with our hard mode attempts. So we've got the two challenge modes to do for the 2.1 and 2.2, the uh, uh, Rising Tide and Queen of the Hill, and we've got hard mode on the standard leaf cutter levels, which don't currently have a challenge mode. And I'm not looking forward to seeing, to be honest, because the... The second leaf cutter level had that giant whip spider, which was enough of a challenge on its own. So what they're going to throw in on top of that, who knows? Okay, so what have we got to do? Build a leaf drop-off chamber, build a refuse chamber. I can do that. I mean, I can do that all day. Okay. So if we build... Oh, I'm just looking around. If we build a leaf chamber here... And we can put an entrance there to the queen, so it goes closer to the uh, to her. So does it count? Do you need three separate chambers or just three separate tiles? Three separate tiles are fine. Perfect. And then we are going to want a refuse chamber. If we put the refuse chamber down here, a little bit out of the way, rather than... Yeah, I think that'll probably be sensible for now, won't it? And we can expand it a little bit all over here as well and try and keep it out of the way of the queen a bit. So I'm going to give it a little path to make sure nothing really accidentally goes down there too far. We're going to want to expand that one. No, probably not. So let's do that. And then we should look at building some ants, of course, and opening the way outside. So this will be our refuse chamber. We'll just put one down for now. I suppose we could do, th we've got enough food for three. We'll do three and we'll see what it is that they're going to ask us to do afterwards. So where, that's a sensible enough place to build our first um, nest, isn't it? We can extend that to 19 as well when we need. So let's make some workers down here. And let's have a look at opening up the outside world as well. So outside looks quite friendly so far. I don't think I trust that all that much. It's definitely going to go horrendously wrong at some point, isn't it? We'll send our little guys out to start gathering some leaf. There they go. Oh, I think they are so adorably cute when they're just carrying little chunks of leaf around. Let's take a bit of a look around the map. Quite contained. Lots of, I wonder if we can actually gather this stuff. Oh, leaf stores are full, but that's fine because the minimum should be taken all out anyway. Yes, they are, look. I was going to say, can we see any entrances where enemies are going to spawn? And yes, we can. There are at least a couple. I'm guessing they're probably going to be some around the bottom side as well. And we're going to get, yeah, there we go. There's one there, look. One over here, is there? I can't see one over here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a straight shot as well to the nest, pretty much. So at least four enemy entrances. So we need to spawn seven minions, or miners, sorry, <laughs> minions, seven miners and seven media. Hmm. 
Okay, so we're not in a particularly bad position right now. I might chuck these once they've built that little refuse pile down there. Let's chuck those into the leaf gathering force as well. Just to speed that up a little bit if we can. Of course, no one's actually going to build that because they're going to go gather some leaves, but that's fine. I'm happy with just leaf gathering for the moment. That's just me rearranging my chair. Apologies if that was a little loud. The, uh, one of the rest made a bit of a clacking sound, unfortunately. It's not what I want. Let's be sensible. There we go. So let's send those back there so they'll build those two in a moment. Then we need to build our media chamber. Nothing's quite central to the Queen, really, isn't it? If we're going to want to extend fairly far up, up here, we could probably just build a chain. If we can get away with one like here. Which doesn't... Well, that's quite close, isn't it? Yeah, let's... Move that one over so we can extend it. And they're still relatively close to the Queen as well, and they're also quite close to outside, so when they spawn, they can just run outside pretty fast. And as we extend over this, we might have to look at doing some little corridors, because as uh, I can't remember who's pointed out now, so I do apologise, but as someone has pointed out a few times, you don't want to use your nests as thoroughfares, because it will slow ants down. So let's start building our medias. That's the first one. Once that's built, we can stick all of them in the leaf gathering group. There's lots of food around. Lots and lots of food around. So I don't think food's going to be all that much of a problem going forward. We shall have to see, of course, because who knows? Oh, I don't have enough food. I did briefly. <laughs> Are they more than 50 or are they 60? Oh, they're 80. I thought they were 50 for some reason. It's completely off. Oh, I love the little minims. They're, they are particularly cute, aren't they? Let's get another media built and let's stick these back in the nursery group look ranging quite far to go and get these leaves aren't they so how's everything doing the leaf store is okay this is the refuse is starting to fill up a little bit Just trying to think where we can, because obviously we're going to have this come in here, so we can't get rid of that one. So we could extend up. No, we couldn't do that, that, so let's not do that. Let's just go this way. We can do these two. I'll just dig out a huge... No, we're not going to play anything. We will treat all of this just as refuge. If we dig out a lot, and then it'll stop these from getting uh, poisoned after the fact as well. We just do a whole amount at once. So there's a couple of little oh, in fact we might want to get those before uh, yeah there we go so then when, when we when we run a bit low on refuse again we can just upgrade all of them at once as well because yeah they do take a little bit of damage when they're in the refuse obviously to slow them down a fair bit as well so we want to minimize their time in there if we can and we don't mind going this close to the leaf stalks we probably won't need to extend the size of it and if we do we can just move up here i suppose What did you just carry back? There's literally nothing there that I could see. And what we'll try to do once we get a bit further in is maybe put some speed tiles coming from the entrance down here. Just to speed up the leaf storage a little bit. Do 
Just waiting for this to get to the next 80 so I can build another media. Which I have no idea actually if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. I haven't really thought about that. It's going to be close when we extend this one, isn't it? Might breach into this chamber here. We'll have to see. And once that one's built, I'll send these seven out again. I suppose I should wait for them to put an egg down on it as well first, shouldn't I? Oh, there's another little media. Hello, little buddy. Well, there's the egg coming, so let's drop these over there. So they'll all go outside and help gather some leaf. Leaf? Leaves? And then we shall wait to see what it is the level's going to uh, throw at us as we get further in. So obviously this isn't going to be it. It's going to get crazy at some point, isn't it? I wonder if, assuming it does get crazy and starts throwing a lot of stuff at you, I wonder if you can kind of bypass that by rather than building the medias by just building a lot more minors and majors before you do the medias. So before the sort of level goes to the next stage, if you see what I mean. So at the moment, everything's seeming quite stable. The refuse is good. It's not too much in the nests. Getting a good chunk of food coming in. Same with this one, once I see an egg go there, which is on its way now, we can move these seven back over. I was just watching how fast our food was going up, but we'll get them to go out and they can get a little bit, at least one more run of food before they uh, have to come back in and build that last one. So I think for now, at least for this first attempt at this, we don't know how, how difficult this is gonna get, but at least for this first attempt, we will stick stringently to the objectives and not skip over anything and try and build like some majors now or anything like that which i half suggested just now we'll just see what it how it how it plays out so at the moment it's kind of a bit more of a gentle of a, a gentle introduction layer level to layer introduction <laughs> level to the um leaf cutters isn't it Refuse is starting to pile up a little bit, look. Even our leaf store was getting a little bit full, but our refuse is empty in the nest, which is beautiful. Uh, collect 2,000 leaves, which we'll do in no short time at all, and defeat all the underground critters. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, it's one of those crickets. It's one of those crickets. The battle has begun. It's only a little one, but they are a pain. I did see, uh, I did complain quite strenuously about them in the last uh, attempt we had to do in the leaf cutter level. And um, there was another one down there, look. Someone did put a comment on one of the videos saying, Slug Disco, nerf those crickets. Because <laughs> those adult ones in particular are just absolutely lethal. Just absolutely destroy your uh, units. Yeah, if we put a path up there, which I was thinking about, we're not going to be able to extend the size of that media nest at all, which might not be the worst thing in the world. Just trying to look at where the smallest group of enemies is. Four seem to be the standard smallest. There's a five over there. So let's, stick, let's have a combat group over here. So the twos are going to be the combat group. We will turn off their food gathering. The twos can come over here. Do I want to build some more medias before we do this? I suppose what we could do is if we come up here, if we extend this and just see if it does breach into this chamber here, which means we are going to stop ourselves. Well, this, this one might end up being a bit of a thoroughfare nest if we need it, which is wrong, but we'll make do. Ah, okay, we're okay. We haven't breached into it. That's great. So, let's build some more media. Which has generated lots of refuse. So the uh, miners really need to get on that quick sharp. 
Might build some more workers just to get more leaf and so we get more medias as well. Because right now they're all on refuse duty. No one's going to be moving leaf around. And then, right, if we come in from... Are we, how, how likely to expend our, extend our refuse even further? I'm just thinking if we could probably build another like nest chamber over here, couldn't we? Not there we couldn't, so we'd have to go down at least one. So we could build another nest chamber there, or a chamber for something at least. So if we do that... There's lots of enemies starting to spawn outside now. How am I in a fight down there? How are you all the way down there, mate? And you've, you're sacrificing yourself there, because, yeah, I don't know why you've ended up down there at all. Um, what am I doing? Let's get down here. There are I was hoping they'd get them in the chamber. Oh, they're tough. Oh, no, they're not that bad. I was looking at the wrong health bars. We should be okay with these. That's fine. We'll get these moved back over there. Should we make this our first major chamber and use mages as the attack force? I suppose we've still got the more medias to build yet, haven't we? So we'll do that. So we'll send them all out on a little bit of a food run, and then we'll bring them back in in a second to do another attack run. And this we will leave as just two potentially small chambers for maybe two groups of mages. It could be useful to have two separate groups. The crickets are a pain, but it looks like they're just going to spawn constant. What's wrong with that? He looks a bit weird. Is he carrying, is he carrying one of my ants? I think he's carrying one of my ants. It's hard to tell. Or they just sort of spawned on top of each other. I don't know. They just have like a weird, weird head situation going on. Is that just their... I think it's just their heads. I think it's just their heads. They just look weird. So the leaf store is filling up a little bit here and there. So let's get that upgraded. The battle has begun. A battle has begun, yes. That should be over fairly quickly, hopefully. There it goes, let's stick them back on food gathering duties. Right, let's bring these back over here then. I am going to extend this chamber as well, because we are going to need more... More um, workers? Miners? Just workers, get myself confused. More workers at some point, so let's do that. Oh, I've taken those off now, haven't I? Let's put those back on. Let's send them all over here. <laughs> I may as well do that and then put the ones back. Why should we send the ones? So there's still a lot of food over this way, so we should probably focus on this way still, shouldn't we? He shouldn't last much longer, should he? No, there we go. Perfect. So let's just turn their food gathering on just for a moment whilst they're out there. Just so they can get a lot. And then we should start planning our next attack, which is going to be up here. And we should breach into here and down there and up there. Wait for a couple more to appear before we do it. There should be a couple more coming up now. There should be another three joining the rank, so let's go and dig this out. That's loads of them coming in now, look. There are intruders in the nest. Should have let them come out, I suppose, first to uh, get them in a more open chamber. I 
So these lot will try and get there up here. Or is that one of those more bullet spongy ones? We'll time that all right. Not perfect, but it's all right. We do need to build another group of medias or majors to help out these guys, I think, don't we? Or we just, say, turn off their attack so they don't even bother with it. Perhaps we do that for now, just turn off their attack, because the workers aren't going to deal with these anyway. Maybe for now we'll send them, send them over here in a slightly different direction, which definitely won't last very long, but at least keep them out of these, these ones, for the moment at least. Right, let's head up here. Same thing if we bring... Oh, no, 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 no. If we bring the twos outside of this chamber again. There are so many crickets around it, it's getting crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. Got preemptive, got preemptive. Come back, come back. Okay, now go. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, those things are tough, aren't they? Really tough. It's sapping our food, just the amount that they're... Um, is she? I think she oh she is oh my god didn't expect them to come downstairs did not expect that to happen at all oh she's she might she might suffer a little bit here there are a lot of them I don't think we can take this on the ants must protect the queen told them to. I've told them to, but yeah, there's not... Oh, we've got no food. Oh my god, this is already over. This is already over. <laughs> wow. Yep. The queen is in imminent. She is. She is done, mate. She is done. Ha! Huh. Those bloody crickets. Okay, well, we'll have another go at that, shall we? Yes, end that level. 22 minutes, zero score. Could have gone better. Okay, okay. So what I'm thinking is we ignore the critters downstairs. I'm thinking we ignore the critters downstairs entirely. And we just focus on everything going out and gathering some leaf. I was pretty happy where everything else went. We just have to hope that we have enough leaf, uh, enough. Uh, Enough workers and and, and uh, attackers, I suppose, more than anything, when those crickets come in. So I think probably getting some level leveled up medias is going to be more beneficial for us. You need to start going outside, lovelies. So 
So we shall do that. Have they built these first three? They haven't. Let's let them do that first and get some eggs there. And then we shall send these guys outside to start gathering some leaf. And they're straight on their worker duties, which is wonderful. <laughs> okay. And where do we put this one last time? Do we put it here? We did put it one over again, didn't we? So if we put it there, now we need to go one again. Just thinking so we can extend it and send a path up there which doesn't go through that nest is what I'm trying to achieve. I wonder how the crickets work. Is it like after you get these first two that the crickets start appearing? So if I just focus purely on... If I get like 19 workers to start... Or is it just based on time, I wonder? I might go for 19 workers to start. We'll see if that, uh, that tactic works at all. I suspect it's probably based more on time. Otherwise, you'd be able to cheese the level a bit. But we'll find out, shall we? Alright, go on and help them gather a few leaves. Obviously nothing's going to build those quite yet because they're going to be out gathering leaves, but that's fine. I'd rather get a little bit in stock. We need to look at extending our leaf and refuse situation as well. Let's move these back over. Let's get them digging out some more of this straight away. We won't go crazy with refuse. We'll just do the seven for now, but then we've got a bit of space there ready for later on, I'm thinking. I remember when the crickets first appeared. Was it after we got the first seven media, I think, wasn't it? Would it be better to dig this one straight down to the queen, or would it be better to go from there? This as much of a muchness, really, isn't it? I suppose that's slightly more roundabout, so maybe doing that would be a bit better. The other thing that this is going to give us, of course, is more medias, to, uh, more miners, sorry, to uh, start with. So a lot more, a lot more miners to move the refuse and stuff around, which is good. So there's a few looking a bit bored at the moment. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm okay with some miners being a bit bored and just hanging around while there's nothing to do. We are going to have to look to do some more refuse soon because that is starting to pile up a little bit, unfortunately. And then if we're going to look at making this quite a big setup, we might need to build a, like a path along here, because then we can get another seven down there. We can get another 19 there, another seven there, perhaps bring the path down there. Just again, trying to minimize the thoroughfares is what I'm thinking here. It's 
right on a thoroughfare over there? Probably not. Over here, a bit more. A bit more useful. Okay, and let's look at extending our refuse situation by a little bit. A little bit more perhaps would be nice. Well, let's, uh, let's do this one here as well, just because then it's in a nice line, isn't it? It's all nice and neat and everyone's happy. So we've got 19 workers now, which is great, which means we've got another 19, uh, 19 miners as well, scuttling around. So now I suppose we should start working on our medias. But just in case it isn't a time thing, I might just leave it for our food to build up a bit. I suppose it's not going to matter too much or something. We can do the first six, can't we? Not that we can do any right now, of course, but in theory. If we do six and then we store some food up and then we can just bang out a load at once. And we'll see how that works. Our second media built. It'd be interesting to see where we are in terms of leaf collection when we do tick this over, because we were about halfway through last time. And if we get to the first six and the first cricket hasn't spawned, I might even look at doing majors before we go any further. So we've taken so much more time building these up. If the first cricket hasn't spawned by the time we do six medias, then I suspect it is based on the objectives when the crickets appear rather than based on the time that has elapsed. So where is our major chamber going to be? That's a question. Just trying to think, we don't really care about this space here too much, I don't think, do we? So we could try and leave a... leave a path up there if we do want to utilize it. Which means this would actually have to be over here to actually make use of the space, which is quite far out. So maybe we don't care about that too much. So we sacrifice this space a little bit. So if that extends out and that extends out, we're in trouble. So it can't fit there, actually. Actually, it's going to have to go there, isn't it? So shall we connect that straight to this path here? Or straight to the queen? Let's just do it straight to the queen. For now. Oh, no, this is spawned up already, look. So I suppose as soon as you hit a thousand leaves, that starts. So they have started spawning crickets already. So we may as well go for the medias. So it's not time-based. It is still objective-based, but it's objective-based on sort of randomness a little bit, isn't it? Not randomness, but objective. It, 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 can, it can trigger the future objectives based on where you are with your current levels. Which is interesting. Might not have expected that. So I think I'll probably go for seven majors straight away here. Once we can. Once we've got a bit more food going. And we'll ignore the underground critter, critter objective for the moment. Until we get 
a lot more leaf in. How are we doing in terms of destroying this? We're not doing too bad. And then the mages are might just station down here. It's just like a defensive guard. Not even have them gathering leaf. Oh, I can't. I cannot build mages yet. Interesting. In which case, I would build a second chamber of medias rather than extending this one. So we've got two separate ones. And then these ones, I will turn off their food gather and they will be down here just for defense. Leaf stores are full, so we need to look at upgrading our leaf store. Once we've got a full seven here, is it worth trying to perhaps send those out on raiding runs? Take out some of the crickets before they get too many? Maybe, maybe we'll have a go at that. We do seem to be getting food a little faster than we were the first time round. I guess because we've got so many more of these guys. Our refuse is piled, I suppose the refuse piles up when you create new, uh, new nest chambers though, isn't it? The ants must defend themselves. So this is where the twos really come into play. We'll turn off the ones food gathering for now as well, so they really get involved. There's another one coming up as well, look. In fact, what I'll do is that, and I'll have to turn that off. So the ones will leave food gathering food, and the twos will just be stuck trying to take out these two crickets that have spawned. Can we upgrade? Yeah, we can upgrade the other, those other ones there. That's great. And there is our... Oops, there's another one. There's only one ant there. For some reason, I don't know where the other six are. <laughs> he is... Tearing through our media workers, or medias, not media workers, just medias. Now, so he's finally gone. So bring the twos back, put. Ooh, just, just keep an eye on these before we do anything. I might send the twos down here to take on these crickets that are spawning. Oh, I didn't know there was three. Three might be a few too many, unfortunately. We'll do it, but it's going to cost us a little bit in terms of respawns, but it is going to help minimise the numbers a bit, and then we need to move up there, take care of that thing. Right, let's start grading these ones. Oh my word, no, don't do that. So we've taken out a few of them, which is good. We'll send seven of them back. Or oh, which is which, I suppose? That is the right group. Oh, no, don't actually go up there. Are you actually going to go all the way up to that marker? That's very frustrating. A mistake on my part. Is there another one? There is another one there as well. Is he going to follow them all the way back into the nest? Not quite. Almost, but not quite. So this is helping to keep down the number of crickets quite nicely. I suppose at some point they're going to spawn so many it might be a little bit impossible to continue doing this. What am I doing? I did want upgrade. Where's this guy? Where's that guy gone? He's not gone anywhere. There's no one around at the moment. Maybe just very briefly we'll say turn on food gathering. Let them go and gather one lot of leaf. We're starting to run low down here, aren't we? We're starting to run a bit low. Maybe we need to move over here instead then. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think we do. I think we can start going over here. Let's turn off their food gathering for the moment. Control doesn't seem to be showing there the, the amount of food left in the plants. I wonder if that's just the alpha level, level thing. Right, so let's upgrade a few more of these. And where's there a ramp down? Let's go down here and start, because there are lots of them spawning now. If we can try and keep their numbers down a little bit. Do they just go, like, clockwise all the time? going to be in trouble. I'm hoping they'll be okay. That one's definitely not, but these guys should be. Well, they're saying that. Maybe not. Maybe not. I thought they would be okay, but they are not okay. I thought they'd do a little better than that. Maybe we need to bring these other guys in as well then to access the attack force. So we can start extending this. But for now, let's send the twos over there. Because the one's going to have to go down to this plant next. We're going to want to establish a bit of a cordon around this corner. Oh, there's not. He's gone miles. So you can get down there to get that guy, dudes. The ants must defend themselves. Again, they've got themselves a little bit stuck there. Oh, maybe we can get up there in time to help them. Oh, those ones have kind of sacrificed themselves. Right, so let's extend this chamber and hope it doesn't open up this. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Once we've extended this group a bit, we should be able to just run that group and put those back with the ones. Really, oh, so the refuse is because we just built all those other ones, isn't it? And this is really helping to keep the crick and pop, cricket population down, which is what I really wanted to do. Where is this guy going? I don't know, but I don't like it. Oh, there's, we've run out of leaf. We've run out of leaf. Don't know why the medias are not dealing with this refuse if there's no leaf to move around. Surely that should be its top priority. Alright, so they should be gathering some leaf there now, which is great. We have also got over 2,000 leaf. Oh, I'm looking at which, we, which of these crickets is going to arrive first. It looks like they're going to be pretty simultaneous, doesn't it? He's gone the other way briefly, so let's... Oh, he's gone the other way as well. Well, there are two up here, so what I might do... Oh, no. Nope. What are we fighting? Ah, there, okay. that because I left the food gathering on the threes very briefly so they've all got some leaf and ran away it is isn't it yes well they will be back soon they're gonna get rid of that one at the very least and here's a few of them coming back now look I 
Ah, yeah, so this is why I wanted the three. So we send one of them there. And then the threes can defend the other side. I do seem to have had a number of dropped frames and missed frames in terms of... It's only sort of a few percent overall, but it's a lot more than normally see. So if you do see any juttering or, or skipping in the video, I do apologise. It's uh, definitely unusual. My CPU usage is super low, so I don't know what's happening there. Uh, we're right near a spawn point down here. That's what's. That's why there are so many appearing. Got a bit more food now, so we can build some more of these. Let's send the threes over to get this guy. Oh, there's nothing in the threes. Let's send the twos over to get that guy. Keep them camped by that entrance, because that's a little bit concerning. Where are we going to go after this? I suppose up this area, that's going to be the next area, isn't it? Trying to look for big plants. It's going to come a point when we run out of leaf, really, isn't there? So I might bring these... Oh, hello. He looked like he was tearing in, didn't he? I might bring these seven inside. We might start upgrading these seven in a bit. Once we've got these 19 the built... Has begun. I might upgrade those seven there and then use those as our internal force to start with. Refuse is still a bit of a problem. This was just because we are still just building more as we go, isn't it? Oh. Twos. Do your thing. So that's that chamber done. So yeah, I might start upgrading these and use this as our, our, our internal attack force to start getting rid of these internal critters. Because I'm sure there's going to be another objective after that. Or will there, I wonder? Will that be it? Just watching this guy where and seeing where he's going to go. There's another one just spawned over there as well. Let's go take care of him. The battle has begun. We can look at moving them back. A couple more crickets around again. Oh, hello. You snuck in. Let's see if we can get that one as well whilst he's there. It looks like we, we are going to, yes, because he is coming straight for us. And then up here to get this one. And then there's another one spawned down there when that one's gone. the food situation here. Not great. We do need to start thinking about where we're going to go next, don't we? So it's probably going to be here. There's a big plant over there. We are running very low on food, actually, so I think we do need to start quite rapidly looking at... Um... You stopped gathering now. You have, yes. 
So let's start sending them over here in the twos as well. These guys will put into a third group. They can come inside. And let's start. Taking care of some of these. There are intruders in the nest. Lots of crickets starting to spawn. This is what I'm trying to avoid. And I'm deliberately trying to keep a bit of food in store in case we do have a massive cricket uh, attack. Those guys are done, so let's bring them here. There are intruders in the nest. Not for long. doing okay in terms of everything aren't we let's just bring the twos back here there's two spawn but they're quite far away at the moment nope 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 two stay there threes come here ah yeah those two are coming over now look let's go and take care of those the ants must fight. And they will. They will. There are intruders in the nest. Hoping to get them in the eye. Oh, I haven't quite managed to do that. Well, have I? So the twos have taken care of their things for now. Let's bring them back. Oh. They managed to sneak past. Things are super tough, aren't they? We, are, we might need to look at getting some. I'm just going to try and get, get these all upgraded to level three. So we might need to try and get some majors to deal with these things as well, because they are very problematic. And twos have got a fight coming as well. Let's deal with these. Where's next on the uh, attack list up there? I not upgrade that to three. I don't understand that. There are intruders in the nest. In fact, we might need to wait for them to come a bit closer, I think. Which is a little dangerous because we're quite close to the queen, but. That's where we are for now. We'll build a new chamber for our majors. Where are we going to build that? If we build it here, we're not going to get 19 majors, are we? Or I suppose saying that, if we cancel that. That being the case, if we just build it like here. I'm not there. So either way, it's going to be quite far out, isn't it? So yeah, let's just carry on with that plan then, I think. How are the ones doing? There's still a bit of food there for now. Again, I can't see quite how much. I 
And where's the next of these ones probably, isn't it? So if you start moving the threes into there. Oh, I can't build them. I can't build them. I forgot I can't build them. <laughs> In which case we should just extend this chamber. And start building some more medias. Oh, the twos have got lots of stuff to deal with. The battle has begun. And we will build some medias. And we will dig down here. Good job, twos, keeping those numbers low. There are intruders in the nest. So there's a few up there, so we should clear those out, shouldn't we? How do you get there? Oh, you got to go all the way up there, look. That's a pain, isn't it? So if we come off this chamber... Bring the threes in here. Who's going to go and deal with that one? And there's two more that are coming. There are intruders in the nest. Well, that's fine. A panicked risk. Oh my god, it's those. Okay, this is actually a bit more problematic than I anticipated. I was, trying to, oh, I was trying to get them in that bit. Failed a little bit with that. Yeah, they are absolutely destroying them. Let's pull the twos back here as well. I didn't think there'd be those super tough things. We don't have a huge amount of food to generate new ones either. Now oh, they are getting whittled down. They are getting whittled down. Not as fast as I would like, maybe, but... I think maybe we just had a couple of low health medias to start with, which is why they went so very quickly. And let's send the twos back outside, because we do have some problems coming. Oh, night is coming as well. I didn't expect a night time, but there it is. The ones are out of food there, so let's send those over there from those few remaining large plants. Yes, we are out of food a little bit, unfortunately. Crickets are really starting to, to ramp up the numbers. Now we need to get those numbers down a little bit. Soon as we can, soon as we can. The threes, where is your next victims? There are three over there. It's probably going to be those same ones. Ah, down here is where it's going to be. Oh no, because we need to go all the way around, so it's actually going to be there, isn't it? I'm going to start digging down there, but I don't want to go all the way quite yet. Not until we've got a little bit of food in store, really. Yeah, leaf is going to be the problem. There's going to be a point where we just run out of leaf. And at that point, what do we do? What do we do? There isn't that much around, really, is there? There's a few little, little tadges around. Nothing really major. Oh, that one disappeared before we got there. Okay. Um, there's no ramp down. Where's the nearest ramp? There. So we've got a little bit of food, not huge amounts, but I think it'll have to do for now. So the twos I might just send patrol in the outskirts, I think. There is another one of those, which is another bit of a problem. Only one though. There's a loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected.
Nope. Twos, threes do not do that. Three stay here, please, and thank you. Okay, let's deal with this one now. Same thing, threes pull back a bit. Two's head down there to try and get that dude. And I might just let my food stores build up rather than building anything else, I think. And then when we come to these last few, maybe we'll just pull all of our attackers inside. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Oh, a little bit soon. No, we're okay. We planned that perfectly. The ones out of food again? No, they are still getting food. They're just not bringing it in very fast, I suppose. Not fast enough. Okay, where is next? So all of this side is cleared. So that's going to be next up there. I guess this is going to be three of the big ones, to be honest, so I might even pull the twos in for this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get the twos over there to kill that one in the meantime. And if it is three of those shiny things, we will... Uh, We will pull those back immediately. That should be about perfect. Yes, that's okay. A lot of them are very damaged to start, aren't they? Which is a bit of a problem. The twos are coming in to reinforce at any moment now. Here they come, here they come. How's this plant doing? It's doing okay. In terms of upgrades, where are we? They're both very similar. So what I might do is I might swap the twos and the threes over and keep the 19 inside. Since it's getting a little bit more tough inside the nest now. And look how much that's taken away. Off. A quarter of our food was gone for that. So let's do that. Let's swap those guys over. Let's pull the threes back. The twos need to go out and take care of some of these. Still leaf to be had. Not much again, though, not much still. Yeah, just the two of them. I think the 19 should be You're fine with this. Oh, just looking at the. Uh, Skipped frames and stuff again, which just seems way too high. I'll have, I might have a pause after this and see if I can figure out something that's just going on. So that looks... Is that, is that really that jerky? Oh, hang on then. No, let's look at that now. I'll be right back. Okay, so it seems to have been yeah. related to the GPU getting absolutely hammeroonied. So I've dropped all my settings down a bit. So unfortunately, it's not quite as clear as it was, but it was super jerky just in the nest. So I don't know what it is about the uh, this particular one. I haven't noticed it in any of my other videos. So maybe just something to do with the alpha level that caused it to be a little bit jerky. Alright, so that's those gone. So those are the next ones. These ones could be a little problematic depending on what they are. And then it's just two groups left. So I might get to that point. Oh God, it's a really drastic... I've only dropped... I'll show you where I've put the... Uh, 
see, it's all just sort of on, doo -doo, sort of, it's down one for most of these. It's only, it's not like it's gone down a huge amount. It's only gone down one, apart from the, the resolution scale, which should drop down a little bit, because that's a bit more of a general sliding scale. But yeah, it's really had a massive impact on the, um, on the graphics for the game, unfortunately. This guy's a problem. We need to get this guy as soon as we can, twos. And threes. Oh yeah, we're waiting for this, aren't we? And then it's going to be the final push down there. Like I said, at that point I'll probably bring everyone inside because I think that's going to be some tough fights. This shouldn't be too bad. Right, at least they're not the, the full nest. level the ones. Larvae must be protected. Let's pull the threes back briefly. Twos are dealt with that so they can go back outside and attack some other things. Are the ones still gathering leaf? There is still leaf to be had there. Good, good, good. He's just running all the way around, which is a bit of a pain. At least they should get that guy on the way, though. Oh, oh they went for that. Oh, no, we're okay. We're okay. This looks a little bit more stable. Looks a little bit more. Hopefully that's a bit smoother for you guys. Apologies for that. But it is an early access game and those were alpha levels, so it may just be... Uh, well, this is an alpha level, sorry. It may just be related to that. not do that threes let's stay in here they are struggling with this a little bit these ones are taking out quite a lot aren't they there's one down if we can get rid of this other one and just leave three that'll be a bit easier just because there's fewer targets if they surround them a bit more it might be a bit more beneficial as well we still can't build majors i'm guessing nope yeah, these are tough. These are tough. So there, that was a really difficult little fight, actually. And it's left a lot of them on not much health at all. It's going to be problematic when we open up these ones, isn't it? So that's the one that it looks like you should leave till last. But I'm wondering how, how that actually goes, whether that's actually not that many in there. So let's dig down here at least. What I might do actually is I might just dig out this area and we use that as our staging area. How are the ones doing? Still a bit of food there? There is. There's not much but there's still a little bit. If I send the twos to go and kill at least one or two more crickets. And I'll be happy to pull those back in ready for the fight. The big finale. I suppose, in fact, do we want them to come to the nest so it's closer to the spawning points? Probably we do, don't we? Has begun. Let's do that. Let's be sensible. Let's bring the threes back here and then we'll, we'll continue to use this as the fighting ground. The ones are out of leaf, I see. So send them to get this. And then really it's this bit down here and a little bit over there, but there's not much at all, is there? Let's get this other cricket so he's wandered towards us. Let's start them going up here. Once they've dealt with that guy, we'll bring the twos inside. We might have to send them out again before we go down here. We'll have to see about the, how many crickets there are. Because there, obviously there is a number where it hits, which is like, now we're going to go and attack the nest because there's so many of us. We are basically invincible. Oh, Lord, that's a lot. In the nest. At least they're not the uh, iridescent ones, though. But our twos have got stuck, which is a bit of a pain. They got stuck in a couple of fights out there. So some of them are just about to make their way inside. Right, let's have it. 
There's the first two just making their way in. There's some more that are slowly coming in. Yeah, we're a little bit early going in. We can't quite surround them, can we? I think we're going to be okay. Certainly have the numbers for it. So four left and that one's almost gone. If they can get rid of that one. And now there's four left, in fact. I was wrong. When they get rid of... Oh, no, there's still five left. That guy's still going. He's been largely ignored. We should turn off their attack. Uh, I don't know if they've been doing too much, but there are... Oh, they're down on numbers a little bit, so they have been getting themselves involved. The ones are done there. There's a couple of bits down here. Sort of moot at the moment. And there's only four crickets, so we should be okay with that. So once they're done there, we'll pull the... Oh, we'll pull the... Those back. The ones we'll leave going down there for that leaf, that little bit that's there. And there's a little bit over there as well, but not much. There are five crickets now. So what we're hoping basically is this isn't oh, too insurmountable a force. It's a pretty big force. Be protected. We only have 127 food. Fighting one of the chambers is a pain just because of the. Um, oh, don't do that yet. Getting the uh, the work rats in there to get some uh, eggs down is a bit of a problem. So I might, seems we're out of leaf, might just send everyone into this three group and they can all just go attacking. So we're going to need as many as we can here. Oh, it's only three iridescent. Oh, no, we're definitely going to do it. We're definitely going to do this. I thought it was some iridescents and some of the other ones we just had, like the next stage down, but they must have been the weaker larvae rather than the young beetle. Which is what I assume the black ones are these versions of these iridescent ones are. Still getting a few dropped frames. It's not as bad as it was. It's all it's choking the graphics card. And I've got a 1080 Ti and it's really choking the graphics card when things get crazy in here. So again, apologies for that. I will drop the or I should knock the graphics settings back up ready for the next videos. An interesting shot of nothing. <laughs> Obviously, they're expecting a lot of uh, movement up on the surface. Well, there we go. Yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting level. Having to manage the outside and the inside at the same time was quite interesting. A little bit of a challenge. Obviously, we failed miserably the first time, but once we had an idea of what was going on, the second time was significantly more successful. Still got a score of zero, which I think is probably misleading. Uh, we definitely had some construction, we definitely gathered some resources, and we were definitely involved in some combat. So I do think that the score's a little bit mean. A little bit mean. Cool. Well, there we go then. That is the new alpha level, the Crucible, done and dusted. So let's drop our settings back up. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Settings, yeah. I don't know, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, so let's just knock all these back up to where they were. And again, apologies for the little bit of uh, stuttering you would have experienced probably towards the end there. Like I say, there's still a few drop frames going on. So yeah, apologies for that. Not much I can do about it. Like I say, it's a fairly powerful system I've got. It's not super top of the range. It's not a 20 ATTI, which I don't know if that would have made much of a difference, but um, yeah, it should be fine. But like I say, alpha level early access game. So these little hiccups are to be expected. So next time then, we will take a look back at doing the hard mode. We will look what's next on the list. Probably doing the hard mode challenges. Oh, it's up to you guys, I suppose. You let me know down below. Would you rather see me try and do the challenges on Queen of the Hill and Rising Tide on hard or doing them on medium, I suppose? Start off maybe a little bit simpler because uh, I think both of them took me a while to do in hard on general. So adding in some sort of additional challenge could be a bit of an interesting one. Or there is hard mode on the two leaf cutter levels, which is the other things that I need to do. Um, the second one, which I can't remember the name of, might not be too bad. The first one took us several attempts and we only just managed to squeak through as it was. So doing that on hard might be again a bit of a challenge, but that's where 
where it all comes from. I suppose that is why we play these games, isn't it? To test ourselves. So let me know down below what it is you'd like to see me do first. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have, do feel free to click the like button. It is hugely appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, consider ticking the little bell as well so you do get notified when I put up my amazing new content. Oh, there are a couple of people who mentioned, was it in the stream? I think it was in the stream I had last. We talked about Hungry Spider. And we mentioned about the fact that on full moon, period you get this spider web in the background so for those of you who don't know hungry spider is like a bonus level or an easter egg level we should say not a bonus level an easter egg level where this spider web appears on halloween and on full moon periods and if you click on this you get an extra little bonus i keep saying bonus easter egg level you act as you can be a little spider and you go around and you kill things you need to level yourself up and you need to try and get all of these objectives and it's really really hard like it's genuinely super tough um i've killed the queens i don't think i've killed any of the uber creatures so yeah it is very difficult so if you'd like to have another attempt at a hungry spider do let me know as well i haven't done that for a little while um, where did I get to? Subscribing, liking, commenting. Yes, leave your comments down below. Let me know what it is you'd like to see me do next in Empires of the Undergrowth. Don't forget, I do stream, as I said, every Wednesday at 6pm. That's UK time, so do check your own local time zones to see what it will be for you guys. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Otherwise, I shall see you next time in Empires of the Undergrowth. And as always, a massive and huge thanks for joining me.